Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your quick and general reading. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this is the right time for you. I hope this reading will give you some guidance in whatever you're going through, or it can inspire you, or simply just give you some words of encouragement, okay? So let's pick an oracle card for you, Gemini. And we have here, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Very nice. Okay, so remember this. Whatever you're going through, remember this. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates and drop the rest. Gemini, my name is Shamla Tan, and I'm a spiritual teacher and an intuitive therapist. In my therapy work, I do use these cards sometimes. And also, I offer tarot readings. If you're interested in a personalized reading, you can always book a session. Details are below this video. So we are going to do a timeless one. This means whenever you're watching, it's good. Let's see. First, we have 10 of cups. Very nice. Good, positive energies. Ace of pentacles. Very nice. And we have seven of wands. Okay. Maybe a little bit of a hiccup there, but all good nonetheless. And we have one more, the Fool. Wow, okay. Let's see. Um, looking at Ten of Cups, I feel like you are, you know, it's a good start. Uh, you're feeling like you're pretty contented with the situation. Things seem to be working out for you. Um, you feel safe, you know, even family-wise, you feel... Family, career, everything, you, you, you are feeling very safe, uh, which is nice. And then we have Ace of Pentacles, which is new opportunities, new things coming in. I feel this has a lot to do with new opportunities, right? So uh, opportunities could be on any level, whether it is for work or for uh, hobbies or even uh, social, right? New opportunities for you coming in. So um, just keep an open mind, open heart, you know, for this to take place. And then we have uh, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, an indication here, I feel. This has something to do with, uh, maybe there's something happening in your life that you just need to be very careful of, uh, which means that, either be very careful, which means you need to have uh, clear boundaries, right? Uh, to defend what is yours. Um, the other thing also for some of you is to be a stronger belief to have a stronger belief in this thing that you are experiencing. Uh, maybe you want a certain outcome, right? To be much more convicted. So when you are much more convicted, this means this also means to put things, uh, to get into action, right? To put into action what you know um, and, you know, get the results. I feel like ultimately whatever is, is going to give you a new beginning. You have the fool here. The fool is about new beginning, um, it's also asking you to trust the universe, you know, like to to not, um, yeah, to to not get too caught up in whatever the situation is, and but to trust, trust in the universe, to have a kind of like um like a child, you know, this innocence that you know in your heart that everything is just gonna work out, okay, and I and I and I know it will. The first card tells us right. So you are needed to shine your divine light and love and be like an angel. So all will be well. So clarifier here for Ten of Cups, we have Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing energy and you are invited to really um, allow this energy to come in, right? Uh, this energy is like a combination of, it, it's like a working mom kind of energy, right? Being able to juggle, multitask, and being very nurturing and caring as well uh, towards uh, people that you love, people that you take care of, right? And we have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles asking you to look at long term. So whatever you're doing, right, in your life, if you're given an, a new opportunity, for example, you know, as Ace of Pentacles tells us, uh, you, you must look at it as long term, right? Uh, to persevere, to work hard, and 
you know, see the, almost like to see the goal, right? And keep that as your focus. Because we also have the king of swords here coming in almost like, um, I, I, I don't like to use the word warning, but it, I feel energetically that seems to be like a warning telling you that, okay, you know, look here, Gemini, um, it's so important for you to keep a high standard, uh, stay in integrity because maybe you, you'll be tested on how, yeah, you'll be tested on your integrity and um, your morals. It's a very strong energy coming in here, right, that you'll be tested. And, you know, you just have to do the right thing and you will pass the test. It's, it's not going to be difficult uh, for you. Just keep that in mind. Then we have more information for Ace of Pentacles. So we have here power. So certain things, um, certain old structures or mindsets that you have uh, cannot be used for these new opportunities coming for you. So Ace of Pentacles is about new things coming in, right? But it's very important that you do not allow your old way of doing things, old way of thinking to be the foundation. It's not going to work. The new things need new thinking. The new things need new way of doing things. And so what is important is to work with the King of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles is a kind of a leader who is very practical, who is very reliable. You know, if you stick with it, and you have two kings here so far, two kings and you have one queen here. OK, so if you stick with the energy of the King of Pentacles and tell yourself and remind yourself, I am a practical leader, I'm reliable. You know, I I believe in prosperity because King of Pentacles is also about uh, reliability. Right. And and also discipline. Right. Tell yourself this in whatever you are doing in this new thing. Right. The new opportunities coming your way. Uh, use a new way of thinking, right? Allow the old way of thinking or doing things to just fall off and adopt a new way of doing things and stay on course with the King of Pentacles. I feel like Seven of Wands may... There's something here, right? As I said, that you need to, to protect. You need to also be much more convicted in the direction you want to go. Let's see what comes up here for us. Yeah, and if you stay on track, stay in harmony with yourself and you'll be fine. Be open to receive and to give support, especially to yourself. Be compassionate towards yourself. Another queen. Two kings, two queens. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So whatever it is that you are facing and you and you know maybe maybe is this thing that you i feel like this thing may hold you back i don't think it's holding you back in a practical way it feels like it's holding you back emotionally mm. but once you get on with it right become very convicted like in your mind you you know and in your heart you go like okay I'm just going to keep focused, do what is needed, and I'll be fine. Stay in alignment with yourself. Stay in harmony with yourself. Uh, you know, yeah, be open to receive help. And your new beginning will come. And we have more info. Yeah. So you need you do need to deal with the, the devil. The devil is toxic energy um, in other people or yourself. Is a shadow self. It could also be your own addictions, your bad habits, your greed and all your stuff, right? That needs to be worked through. And then follow your heart. Follow your heart in a positive way, not follow your heart in a low emotional way. That's not what it means, yeah? <laughs> but definitely the shadow energies needs to be addressed. Anything that is stopping you from growing, developing, from starting new, you, you do need to address them. Okay, and learn to master them. And you'll be fine. Let's see. Can we have some messages from the divine for Gemini? We're going to pick one or two of these cards. So Gemini, do me a favor. If this message resonates, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate this energy exchange. Comment below as well. Tell me how you're doing. 
okay? And uh, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I, I'm being guided. Very nice, dragonfly. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Yeah, for sure. One more. I recognize that I've chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Yeah. So whenever you choose fear, right? Fear-based decisions that you may make, fear-based thinking, fear-based mode of operation in whatever shape and form, right? Choose again, right? We always are given new opportunities to choose again and know that your light and your love is needed. Shine bright. Okay, Gemini. I wish you the best. And I will see you again. God bless.